Welcome back guys. Uh, it's cook the book time and I just want to tell you for people who are new and joining right now what this series is about. So uh, my channel is all about home cooking, healthy food, treats, baking, um, kind of the stuff I enjoy eating um, and cooking for my family and friends. Um, and they are all my recipes, uh, which I have worked on my take on traditional Indian food. Right, but this series is totally different. It's a new series and I have loads of cookbooks here. So I thought, why don't I, um, and I don't really get to cook a lot from them because I'm always trying my recipes. So I thought, why don't I pick some books that I have and choose a recipe from that book and share it with you guys so I get to try it and you get to try it as well with me um, and it's this this series and um, just for this particular series so now today's book is is Dishoom um, so what is Dishoom now Dishoom is uh, an Indian restaurant in London it's really popular and I have been there many times it's one of my favorites and uh, some time back, I did a series um, uh, called, uh, what was it called? What was it called? I don't know. You didn't remember, so I have to go and quickly check online. <laughs> well, it was a couple of years ago, I've totally forgotten. Uh, but anyway, the series was called Eating Out. And the first episode I did was at Dishu, where I went to a restaurant, met the chef, and the chef showed me one of their most popular dishes. Uh, anyway, so I have decided to cook one of the most popular dishes, which is house black dal. Also, I would call it um, dal makhani. Um, and I've read the recipe and it's actually a bit different to how I cook it. So, and I've eaten it in their restaurant. So I'm really interested to see how different it is to my recipe. Um, and my recipe is my family recipe. So my mom and my grandma used to cook it. So my nani. Uh, right, so let's get cooking. So the book is called Dishoom from Bombay with Love. Uh, and it is written by the team at Dishoom restaurant. Um, it's got some amazing pictures uh, from the streets of Mumbai. And the recipe that we are making today is the house black dal. So it's got a lot of the restaurant favorites in this book. Um, quite a gorgeous, stunning one. Here I have got 300 grams of black lentils or whole urad dal. Um, and I'm just going to wash this two or three times in cold water. So it says to cook the dal in a pan with around four liters of water for two to three hours. Um, I would do that, but I will prefer to use pressure cooker for uh, such heavy lentils because they take forever to cook. Uh, two, three hours is fine. You can let it like bubble away slowly because it will take time. But I will use pressure cooker and I'm going to give it around six whistles and then I will take it off the heat and let it cool down for at least half an hour so all the pressure has uh, gone down and it's safe to open the lid. So here is all the dal and I'm going to just add a bit more water and then cook it for four whistles. So I actually gave it six whistles and it's cooled down slightly because, and this is not dirty by the way before anyone says, it's where the steams comes out. It's the stains from the lentils. Please let it cool down before you open it. So after six um, whistles, it is soft and it's creamy. And you can see that it's, completely softened up very very nicely so I am now going to move this into an open pan I'm going to get a paste ready I have got a small piece of ginger it says to take 10 grams and two or garlic clo garlic cloves uh, around 12 grams so that is what I'm going to grate now 
To this ginger and garlic, I'm going to add a few things. So in goes 70 grams of tomato puree. And a teaspoon of salt. Also goes in a teaspoon of chili powder. And also half a teaspoon of garam masala. And now I'm going to mix it well. And then this goes into the dal. To this dal, I am going to add enough water to cover the dal and then two or three centimeters extra on top. I think I would say this is two centimeters above the dal in the tomato garlic ginger paste into this. And the last thing is 90 grams of unsalted butter goes in as well. It has been uh, a whole hour. This has been cooking on the lowest uh, heat. So really, really low heat. And now, it, ooh, it is time to check how this is doing. So this is looking lovely. Um, I am actually going to cook it for another half an hour. So it's been two hours, 15 minutes, and now the dal has thickened up as it should really be. It's beautiful, creamy, and I haven't even added any cream. This is how black lentils become when they are cooked slowly. Um, they get really, really nice and creamy. So now I'm going to get this ready for plating up. Last thing uh, to add to this to finish it is uh, 90 ml of double cream and that goes into this. Here it is, uh, the house black dal, and it smells really good. It's got the right consistency, and I want to taste and see if I can uh, how different it is to uh, dal makhani. Really, mm. Mm. that is lovely. Though when I was adding the spices, I did think that the quantity of salt and garam masala was a bit, bit less for the quantity. So I would add um, at least three, four teaspoon of salt more and half a teaspoon of garam masala. Otherwise, this is absolutely fantastic. Mm. So creamy and I have got a question for you. What's your favorite thing to eat with dal? And whether it's naan, rice, pulao, bread, what is your favorite thing? Please leave your comments below and uh, I'll see you very soon. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you like the recipe.
Bye for now.